Hey guys, welcome to this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and sharing this down moment with myself and with one another. For those of you who haven't seen these videos before, welcome, welcome back if you have. My intention is always benevolence for all and the highest and greatest good of all and love light levels. Um, I'm just gonna jump right into it. So I'm gonna do a series of videos, uh, which I kind of started to do and then I had to backtrack because of uh, what I'm gonna explain in just a moment. But um, eventually what I'll be getting into is all of the synchronicities with Dorothy, Wizard of Oz, Aurora, Sleeping Beauty, um, Snow White, Apples, Blood, these um, diamond and amethyst, sapphires, rubies, on a high vibration, obviously not going into um, the, uh, we'll just say that I want to talk about blood involving the DNA, right? Also, I'm going to talk about rose, um, the toroidal field, the Adam's apple, and um, yeah. So I'm going to tie that all in. But first, I wanted to touch briefly on a video that I did recently that I have since deleted. And I wanted to share an updated version of that message that I was trying to get across, but it didn't come across that way and may have been slightly mis- presented on my end um, based on how I titled it and the pictures that I drew. So sometimes I do videos and I'll do several videos and if they don't work out, I delete them. And then I go back in and I keep the same title, but I kind of forgot that I didn't exactly. Anyways, bottom line is I need to be more clear, especially if I'm going to call the videos, keep it simple star seeds. I muddled it a little bit, which isn't simple. So I just wanted to start off by, um, correcting it, and then just going, tying it all together. So essentially, when I go into flow or I have messages that come through, I get them in pictures, um, sentences, such as the spheres are singing, um, or the ringing of the spheres is, is happening, as well as um, writing, right, which is a combination of all of those things. And of course, you guys have heard me, if you've watched these videos before, go into a flowing sort of format where I connect with my higher self guides and um, benevolent beings that are assisting us. So I had drawn a picture and I had talked briefly about what I had been seeing and I tied it in with the light body and the chakra system, although I wasn't exactly intending to say that the light body and the chakra system was the same architecture as the tree of life specifically and exactly. And I kind of did inadvertently. So I'm going to back up just for a moment and correct all of that and say thank you, Romeo, my fellow star brother, for pointing this out. You guys were always learning and growing and essentially expanding. And sometimes um, the words just don't come out right. Isn't that a song? I think it is. Anyways, or the pictures don't come up right on the board. So I had drawn the tree of life. And it, I drew it with what I thought was 12 spheres, but I didn't draw them in the right configuration at all. And my intention really wasn't to draw it specifically the 100% right way. And that's on me because I should have presented it in a very concise way because it does represent a vibration. And um, I really didn't think about that when I drew it. The other thing is, even though I'd mentioned the number 12 that I had been seeing, it was in relationship to dimensions. And I'm just gonna back up just a moment. Everything's tied together. My intention was to tie it together with all of this. And now I'm seeing how important it is to get the diagram right because as I share this information, because of Romeo pointing it out, now I've tied together the other synchronicities that I had been writing down and didn't quite grasp with where they were alluding to. So let me just back up. What I had been seeing that I was trying to explain uh, was essentially that we're a, a pinball machine. And the tree of life was an excellent way, um, and a crystal. And to me, and the singing of the spheres, and so the tree of life represented a pinball machine, a crystalline structure, and spheres. However, the tree of life also represents the light body, which of course they're all connected, and the chakra system. And it needs to be represented in the appropriate way, and here it is. So I did take this from Romeo's um, YouTube page, which I'm going to share the link to that, so you guys can check that out. And there is no point in me going into the structure of the chakra system or the light body system for several reasons. The first reason is I don't see it in that structure, 
according to my guidance system. But what I mean by that is I've just seen spheres and light and shapes and um, messages about it. I ha and I've seen stars and the tetragrammaton shape, but in much bigger numbers. So for me, this particular shape was never something that was in my sphere of knowingness. The ironic part about it was, though, I think I watched a video about it and must have just completely just not put the two together. So I encourage you guys to check out that video. It's really cool. I'm going to watch it again so that I can really kind of hone in this information in the format that Romeo presents it in because it does resonate with me and it is, we are all, it, it really is, you've got to pay attention to what resonates from the heart. And it also makes so much sense as to what I've been seeing. Now, I'm going to back up, though, and just talk about what I was seeing. And not in reference necessarily to the chakra system or the light body, but pretending that this is just a giant crystal and a pinball machine uh, associated with some spheres. And now that I have this up here, though, I feel much better about tying it in with the chakras <laughs> in the light body in the, in the proper format. So I was seeing these um, us all as snowflakes, and I had seen the chakras in a previous video going from singularity to a, a different type of spin in beautiful snowflake configurations becoming a rainbow rather than just individual colors and basically all working together in unification, which is what Romeo basically explains in his um, video from my perspective. But that wasn't, that was the Snow White video that I did a few months back. Um, but what I also saw was this pinball machine effect that we're having on one another. So again, my intention to draw this was really just to show that it looks like a crystal, which we are crystalline beings. So when we have these activations and downloads, we have this um, essentially, let's pretend we're lighting up areas in the brain. I picture everything as fascia. So this fascia connects everything. It's a web of life, or you could think of it as a matrix. I also don't want to compare this necessarily to the grids specifically. I just want to think of it as this string network that makes up different shapes, configurations, and, is atta and has attachments like ligaments, cartilage in the body, right? Or um, synapses in the brain, I believe, is another attachment or nodes. And if we start as within, so without, we are the nodes. We are the attachments. We are the snowflakes that are lighting up this pinball effect that we're having on one another. So what I'm seeing is when one part of the body, it sometimes what will happen is it'll be like, bing, bing, bing. And then it's just there, this energy or this uh, activation. We might be clearing energy. We might um, be uh, healing certain things, so to speak, or it could just be an activation going on, let's say in the heart, the throat, um, the brain, the ears, the eyes. So it's not really about the chakras, although it is obviously, but my intention is more to talk about the physical structure. When our eyes are changing, when our blood is changing and everything is connected, it's essentially like our entire body is this crystalline pinball machine. This is basically what I was seeing in my own, from my own perspective. Now, as within, so without. So when we get these activations, let's say, for example, we also might start to remember things. We might have the brain, part of the brain um, that's associated with a childhood memory comes up that we might be in the process of clearing or integrating. And when we do that, it all of a sudden brings up these emotions, which also then activates the heart. So that's that pinball, bing, bing, which then activates the throat. We're able to speak our truth. So to speak in chakra speak, but also just things come out literally. So I don't know if I was clear about that in the previous video, but that's what I'm trying to express now. Also, in expressing that, that then lights up these nodes like a pinball machine. So picture these as pinballs, right? And once that stays active and open and, and we are operating at a different frequency, we're then connecting in through this web, which I kind of drew out this grid, but it's pictured as a web or fascia, to the other nodes that are outside of us. Now, of course, from one perspective, it's the light body. Of course, everything's connected. 
And again, my intention is really just to talk about connecting with our fellow brothers and sisters, connecting with um, places on the earth, connecting with, um, what else did I see? Galactic brothers and sisters, which then leads me into, so that's the physical, right? That then leads us into more of the physical, really, but it's in, let's say, relationships. It, it, it's activating this trigger or string connection, right, to then fire up this pinball machine that lights up all across the universe, right? And um, we might call that a grid. Um, I just see it as this fascia structure matrix in multiple colors. That's a whole other video. So having said that, this also I saw it as dimensions. So when I was referring to the number 12, I wasn't referring to it as the light body or the chakras, although now I do see, of course, what the representation is appropriate to represent it as that. I was seeing it as dimensions. And I also saw this as a shape, um, and I brought up Nassim Herman, um, the physicist, because he talks about that structure being a nine, and he makes that tetragrammaton in that structure. But I saw that type of structure, but it was bigger somehow, and maybe that had something to do with the 12 um, spheres the, and dimensions that I was thinking of, or that is referred to in um, these videos. So as I saw that light up, I saw these, these areas within our, not even reality, but we could call it universe, more cosmos, more expanded out, that were essentially asleep, start to light up and activate. Like they were um, unplugged, and now these energies went out, and connected into those and lit them up and they started spinning and came on, which then also tied us in multidimensionally. And I don't know that those are exactly connected, but this is what I was seeing with these multidimensional aspects of us. And so as our, as we embody our light body, but this is one perspective and this isn't a hundred percent the way that it's described, but this is what I see. As we embody these certain frequencies and they turn on and our pinball machines start to kind of go bing, 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 that happens across the board with our brothers and sisters, bing, 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 because we're all connected through this matrix, so to speak, or this lattice work, or this, um, this lattice work, this is a crystal, picture these, no offense, I'm not trying to delete, but. These are lattices or nodes that are connecting the lattice work of this strip, of this crystal. So um, I saw those creating this harmonic sound, and that's when the message came through that the ringing of the spheres or the singing of the spheres is happening. Now, in addition to all of that, this then lights up the dimensions, and I was seeing this as like. Oh, and the platonic solids. I saw those as shifting as well. And I had drawn the, the, the diagram of the tree of life in reference to the crystalline structure that isn't 100% accurate, but I really liked one of the websites that I had drawn on because of her description of chakras in a very um, beautiful description. Anyways, so there's this in within this or the crystalline structure that I see as the ruby, which is a whole other video, I was seeing a cross, a square, a triangle, and if you look at this, it's a cross, it's a, it's a diamond, there's a cross, there's a square, and then the triangles, right? And so, of course, this is the correct representation, which would be a better mathematical representation in, um, uh, in relationship to the vibration of how everything's being presented. What else? Okay, but I'm actually very grateful that this happened because I really wasn't taking this into a serious, like I wasn't seeing that how important this structure is. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't. I was just like, yeah, it's a tree of life and this is the vibe, it, it represents spheres and I'm gonna use that as my model for spheres, crystals, and um, dimensions, among a couple of other things, the pinball machine. But it really is literally, a vibration and this is the correct representation. So if you take that and act like you're looking through it and you look at the crystalline structure that's behind it, 
right? In that multidimensional aspect, connecting with these other dimensions is really where I wanted to go with that. And I didn't, didn't do a very good job, but that's okay. Here I am now correcting that. So um, the other thing I wanted to share is we're getting a lot of hard activations and downloads. So I'm gonna end this video kind of on this note, but I did wanna readdress some of the subjects. I'll have to go back and watch the video. I did talk a little bit about people that are seeing um, faces. And the reason I wanted to address that is because if we're activating these dim other dimensions or these other aspects of us, let's say you have a pinball and you shoot it and it goes bing into this part, this node and lights this up and then it goes up into this through this web-like finger fascia bubble gum, these bubbles, and you're lighting up this other dimension and that lights up, it's all talking to each other. It's all fascia, it's carrying information. And this is a whole other video about water, snow, blood, and all of that. So now I see the synchronicity that I really did need to get this right to tie it in because it's shown me um, some of the other synchronicities that I really wasn't going to include because I didn't quite put them together. Now I understand. So thank you, Romeo. Anyways, having said that also, it's lighting up that other dimensional aspect. So you might be seeing faces. They might be other versions of you or other timelines that are essentially um, integrating right now. And it could be in the body. The body holds memory, so to speak. We talk about that in yoga all of the time. And all of a sudden, you get a pain in your hip. Bing, that ping, but that pinball lights up. And I'm not talking about the sacral chakra necessarily or that alignment. I'm just saying it could be physical that you had an injury there and it might remind you and trigger something. And you see where I'm kind of going with this domino pinball effect, right? And then that then triggers this other version of you to come in to provide some assistance or that you remember, that you that you essentially connect with. And you guys, this is one layer of so many layers, but that's part of the reason from my perspective and the message of my guides that a lot of people are seeing these faces. And some people have been seeing them for a really long time. Now, granted, that could be that they're traveling to these other realms and these, these beings are around them from one perspective. Um, but from what I've been seeing, quite frequently it's usually related to um yeah these activations connecting with your multidimensional self remembering other versions of you um or connecting with the relatives um so i dreamed about my uncle who passed away his face was passing in front of my face you might have a face that passes in front of your face and you might not know who it is because they were your uncle in a previous lifetime so to speak but as you branch out and bing, light up the grid. Also, sidebar, and I don't know if I included this in the other video, when you're lighting that up in the DNA, in the blood, you have DNA that's associated with your ancestors. So essentially your pinball, bing, bing, lights up those pinballs. Everything is connected. So that's where I see that crystalline lattice structure and us being the nodes that then carry that vibration that assist our ancestors, our friends, our family. And that's what this is all about. So I hope that was more clear about what I was seeing. Um, and again, yes, it is tied in with the light body and the chakra upgrade, but, and I, I just want to be very clear that that's not the correct shape, architecture, um, or placement of the, the chakras in that particular video. So I hope that makes sense to you. So please check out these other videos. I'll provide all the links when I post this. And the next video, I'm gonna get into all of this, which is super fun for me, exciting. And I hope you find it fun and exciting too. Um, in the meantime, in love and light, guys, and namaste.